Well hello everyone welcome back guys hope you all are doing well this is Muhammad Badruddin and today we are going to solve the last lab from web cache poisoning vulnerability which belongs to implementation flaw of web cache so before going further this little disclaimer as always for you this video and its content are only for educational and awareness purpose and i do not support any unethical or illegal act this is very serious warning because whenever you watch these videos please do not get excited and go to any website or any organizational website and you try to do or try same things what you watch here so there are a lot of things if you want to do uh, or practice or if you want to test your skills you can go to the uh, bug bounty platforms like bug crowd or integrity or there are a bunch of uh, bug bounty platforms where you can go and start bug bounting and there you can test your skills because uh, these are legal otherwise if you go anywhere without having permission from the organization and you try to test your skills or try to hack the applications this is totally illegal so that's been said let's jump into it and we see what this lab is all about so internal cache poisoning okay very well internal cache poisoning whenever you see internal cache whenever we talk about internal cache you should think about application level caching so uh, in that part the application itself have some kind of cache implemented okay the agenda of this lab is this lab is vulnerable to web cache poisoning it uses multiple layers of caching multiple layers of caching means uh, the application itself have some caching features or caching capabilities and there may be different kind of cache server implemented so this is this is known as multiple layer of caching okay a regular user visits the site's home page using chrome browser to solve the lab poison the internal cache so that the home page executes alert document.cookie in the victims browser very well okay so the thing here is internal cache is there and there is multiple layer of caching implemented but the implementation is flawed so i already open up the burp suite here i'm going to start my burp proxy on my browser and let's just hit enter here back to the burp proxy go to the proxy http history and we have here the request let's see this is the first request the request is okay but if you see the response you will see here uh, in the previous labs what we saw before that there are some response headers with that we can verify that okay there is a cache implemented between the user browser and the server but here you can see there is uh, no aging there is no cache header so that's kind of problem here because normally you will find or you will think like there is no cache implemented okay let's go to this request and here also you cannot see any kind of uh, cache header cache response header here also here also here also but because this is lab and we are already told here that the cache is implemented and especially internal cache so we will not feel and we will not see here any uh, response cache header but actually cache is implemented so the first thing first i am going to extension go to parameter miner and guess parameter and i am going to guess header so because i know that some kind of uh, cache is there so I am going to start it from the very basic where in the initial labs we try to find out the headers or uh, parameters right or in the parameter miner we saw fat get request other things but the very basic thing is uh, get parameters cookie parameters headers so I'm going to guess headers click on it and leave everything default okay just click ok go to the extender go to the output and here one queued attack ok 
and it is initialized so now back to the proxy and i'm going to send this request to my repeater go to the repeater and let's just send this request to see the response once and everything seems perfect now what i'm going to try here is and actually before going to try i just want to um, mention one thing in a very brief or high level manner that uh, especially in the internal cache implementation scenario what happened that the response is cached in the fragmented way piece by piece or block by block right or response by response so here uh, the first thing or very basic thing which we already try in the previous labs that we saw whether the query string is a part of cache or it's a key or unkeyed cache so let's say aaa is equal to 111 and let's just send here send this request and here let's see if we have if we have this and as you can see it is reflected here right and only one match is there fine um go back to the extender uh header brute force complete attack nothing is there okay let me check one more time extension parameter minor guess parameter guess headers right yeah we guess headers uh, let's just wait a moment uh, go back here extension parameter minor guess parameter guess headers Um, we can also try add dynamic cache buster okay cache buster means this one let me just click okay uh, this is cache buster okay this query string here is the cache buster so let's go back here to the extender and let's see and yes as you can see here this time it gave us x forwarded host fine with the cache buster so go back to the repeater and here what i'm going to try i'm going to write here x forwarded host x forwarded host right yeah x forwarded host and let's just put here a value like example.com or whatever you want fine just send this again and let's see what happened okay there is only one match of aaa let's see how many times we have example.com so there are two times okay so as you can see here the resources we got here with this request js geolocate.js and analytics okay fine send again uh, we should we should see that here but the thing here is we can see that whatever we put in the x forwarded host header we have that in the response right okay let's see we have exploit server here so let's try this exploit server copy that back here instead of example.com i'm gonna um, put my exploit server and send the request again and let's see how many times we have that okay and this time as you can see js geolocate in this resource also we get exploit server url before once we put example.com at that instant with the js geolocate.js we did not get example.com the domain we put with the x forwarded host but once we put the exploit server url or domain name we get here uh, this right so now this is very very simple but the only thing is you can see this one 
and this URL. The query string or cache buster with the URL. Both of these input what we put here we see in the response. Right. So now that is very very easy. What we can do here we can take this js geolocate.js copy this back here. Here we just need to configure or create the same directory structure and here we need to say alert because this is already a js file so we just need to put the function which is alert and alert is going to be document dot cookie okay store this okay and back to the application come back here and what I'm going to try just send uh, or we can remove this one this buster or let's just change its value let's say test uh, send this send again uh, okay uh, because we add the cache buster from the parameter miner so it's already adding some kind of cache buster some kind of query string so even if uh, let's go here proxy come back here oh it's already solved because 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 come back to the repeater because this server is actually serving the alert so that's why it's already solved so it will solve actually whenever the user who is who is visiting the website's home page this user from somewhere is visiting after every some time so that's why let's just try to see whether the alert we get or not so just send this send send and as you can see because once we enable the cache buster every time this is going to add new cache or random uh, query string right okay just try to refresh that okay we did not get that now what we can do here um, come back here go to the extender where is it this one parameter minor um, guess parameter guess header and remove this okay now let's just send that and this time as you can see the randomized query string is already removed what we got before okay so back here send send or actually what we can do to see the uh, see the alert whether we have to copy this url and we need to access that url okay here we have the alert or we can do what we can remove this send this request and from here the query string has gone now if we come back here this is the normal url and just hit enter so we get it so that's it for this video this lab is the expert level lab because the internal cache uh, mechanism is very very difficult and because this is lab so we uh, found it very easily but in real life or production scenario we actually have to suffer a lot to uh, verify whether this internal cache poisoning uh, vulnerability exists or not because it is very very difficult to understand or to find out that internal cache is applied or application level cache is applied because as you can see here we do not get any kind of uh, response header for caching so that's it hope you understand it if you like the content please like subscribe and share see you in the next video bye